Since we go way back to Los Angeles, and uh, she's a fantastic talent. Uh, she's been a fantastic friend, and I wish you nothing but the best. I'm here in New York City promoting my new Christmas CD called Silver and Gold. I know you have my old CD uh, called Star Bright, and you've been a fan and very supportive over the years. So I want to thank you for all your love and support. I wish you all the best from New York. I know your show is going to be fantastic. And everyone tune in to the Maria Papa Petros Hour. Goodbye from New York. People scoff at the psychic world, reading the stars, that kind of thing. But in Hollywood, some very big decisions are being based on the advice of psychics. And some very interesting predictions are being made by the psychics themselves. Janet Tamaro with our story. Los Angeles-based psychic Maria Papa Petros works with producers considering blockbuster movie projects. The people were coming and we just started naming the projects, not knowing, of course, I was doing it. And a few months later, down the road, the project will manifest. When producers Wallace Nesita and Lauren Lloyd went to see Maria, her revelations amazed them. Wallace and Lauren swear Maria had no idea they were even producers or the name of the project they were working on. And she said, oh, I know that to me, more is going to be in this, in a movie. That's going to be a very good movie. I said, well, she was in Ghost, and it was a very good movie. She said, no, no, another one. And it has, it has something about it. It's uh, the butcher, the butcher's wife. And I said, well, why are you telling me this? And she said, I thought you were involved with this somehow. Within weeks, the actress due to star in Butcher's Wife quit. And Demi Moore, who hadn't been considered, was the new lead. It was uh, freaky. It was so precise. The Butcher's Wife is the latest of a long line of films to come out of Hollywood that deal with the paranormal. From The Wizard of Oz to last year's smash hit Ghost, psychics have found their place in the movies. Off the screen, Hollywood movers and shakers have been consulting psychics like Maria Papa Petros for just as long. All people in all creative fields are more in tune. She kept saying that my daughter wanted me to have another child. My daughter wanted me to have... Every time we met to work on the script, you know, this was like through the whole three-month period of making the movie. And, of course, by the end, I went in and she says, are you really thinking about having it? And then she stopped herself midway and said, are you pregnant right now? And I had just found out two days before that I was. Most of the things Maria told me, I probably couldn't say on camera, but <laughs> because they're so private. <laughs> We've worked on Ghost as, as well as, mm -hmm. as The Butcher's Wife. And, and you do a lot of readings for stars. I do readings for everybody, not just for stars. Yes, I do. But stars, too. Yes. What stars? Tell me. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you can't Give say. me more. <laughs> <laughs> that one you can say, right? <laughs> well, that's why I keep doing it, because I don't talk about them. Yeah. What sort of creature is she? Um, well, first of all, I feel it's like a 30 to 40 feet um, long. I don't see a tail. It's sort of, you know, bumpy and um, there is two. I very strongly see two. And the one is extremely large, much, much larger. I get the sense that you're translating from something that you... I'm delivering messages. It's impressions. I get impressions. Yeah. I just tune in and I get impressions. You know? Hoy visitó el Canal 45, una de las figuras más reconocidas en el campo de la metafísica. La psíquica griega María Pava Petros, Teresa Farfán, platicó con ella y nos informa sobre sus predicciones. ¿Pero qué es un psíquico? ¿Y es que acaso son personas escogidas? Because it just, it's, it, I'm curious about it, and it's kind of spooky and strange and mysterious. And the way it works is like a radio tuning. Like you turn the radio on and you pick up a wavelength. The same thing with this. When I hold a piece of your jewelry, I, I get into your frequency. I don't read your mind. Many people say, just I can read my palm. No. I, 
I read the waves. I feel the waves. I feel the erotic frequency. Oh, please, who didn't tell you about all your women? No. <laughs> About what? That psychic. Oh, tell me about it. You got a psychic. Oh, no, this will be good. Oh, here we she go. She gives me initials. You have she a psychic. Me, now, how long have you had a psychic? Is this one of the phone deals? No, Hello, no, I'd like I'm to not, speak like, to... committed, and she doesn't, like, run my life. I speak to, like, one Where month. did you meet a psychic? Through a friend. Uh-huh. And she said to me, she can tell What's me things name? through the phone. Well, her name's her name? Maria Papetro. I'm sorry? Maria Papetro. Ma 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 Maria, Maria Papetro. <laughs> and she can tell me things through the phone, and she said, I see next year that you're going to meet a man. His initials are DR. There's definitely a baby there. I thought the down low. How's it down low? She said, no, his name's David, and his last name is L. There's definitely going to be a marriage and a baby. That really? has to be you. Well, it, well I would think so. <laughs> I, you, 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 no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here. Here, settle down. Just wet your lips. Here. I'll do that. Well, today's show is so exciting. It's all about psychic phenomenon. My guests are all people with incredible psychic abilities. And now for the graphic. <laughs> oh, I love psychics. We have two psychics here today and a medium. I always wanted to be a medium, but I'm an extra large. <laughs> Marie Papa Petros is here. Now, this lady has more celebrities in her office than I could ever hope to book on this show. Maybe she could put, like, a psychic thing into their heads so they won't come on the show. She's going to give me a live reading on the air, which is pretty cool. I'm going to ask her, like, you know, I'm gonna get to the bottom of what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> that silly music. We're back with Maria Papa Petros. Maria is going to tell me and everybody in the universe what the hell's really going on with me. I, I had to use the whole commercial to get my ring off. <laughs> I was stuck on it. But I'm going to give you my wedding rings, and um, you're giving them back. But you're going <laughs> to yeah, uh, you're going to feel whatever the deal is. Okay, you collect them. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So ready? You don't ask me anything. You're ready to go. Okay. No, go. Okay. Let's go, Maria. Well, Roseanne, the very first thing that I get is, I come into your vibration, is that you are extremely intuitive yourself. Not little. I mean, every single person on earth is psychic. Some more than others. You've opened up ever since, I mean, like 12 years old, you had experiences, and then you put them aside, for whatever reason. 17 again. At 17, there was something medical you went through. Either a little anesthesia or con concussion or something. That's correct, yeah. And... Uh, a while under whatever it is you were receiving, you really got in touch with an entity called Yoram. And I, f I see this entity, maybe you do, you're not aware of this, there's an entity that could very well be a rabbi, and then because I hear Hebrew words that he's talking, and, um, you know, they're like real old, with a beard, like the ones that I see in the old city in Jerusalem. Right. And uh, the... Um, and he's been trying to give you information. And you will get in touch with him. You will. I think you, uh, as you're writing, I see you writing. And mm -hmm. I see you writing not only stories, but writing in your journal. Do you right. know, like, I, I see you writing in your journal. That has been your salvation yeah. for a while. And what it is that doing, he's coming through. You just started receiving little sentences. Oh, my God. Yes, little sentences. So trust him, oh Roseanne. Go God. with him. You know, go. And sometimes he speaks Hebrew. Uh, he yeah. speaks Hebrew that I don't understand, because I understand some for a nice Greek girl. But uh, some things that don't make sense. But his energy is awesome. I think he projects hand light from his hands in here. And sometimes as you around your home, you see in the side of your face a blue light real fast. You know what I mean? Like real fast. And that's when he is around. What, oh he, what he's doing, he's holding a big white book with blank pages. He's showing me the book with blank pages. He wants you to fill the book. Do you know what I mean? And he will really go through you big time.